but I want to give you guys a brief and important tip for doing your critical analysis paper. So you're going to need your book, Augustus, and you're going to need... I'm back. <laughs> you're going to need uh, the human record. You need both books, as you guys know. So make sure you guys do a good job watching the explanation video and follow the instructions carefully. Um, but a couple of just really quick tips, and I'll try to make this short and sweet. Uh, when you guys are doing uh, uh, Augustus, for example, question number one or question number four, uh, oftentimes I'll be asking you to provide direct quotes, be very specific. So I'm always asking you guys to provide the evidence. So maybe you'll be thinking, okay, I'm going to do, uh, I'm going to do comparison for number four. I'm going to compare Octavian to Mark Anthony. And like, great, okay, I want to give some specific examples of the personality differences and similarities. And I know I need direct quote to be very specific about that, to provide direct specific evidence. Like, but I remember the, and then like, I remember a couple episodes I want to use, but I don't remember exactly like where they were. So like key and tip for that is, right, go to the index, go to the back of the book, go to the very back of the book right here and starting the page. Oops. There we go. Starting on page uh, 363, index. There you go. So in the index, if you go to page uh, 364, on the very top left of the page, you'll see Mark Anthony or Marcus Antonius. And then it gives you a whole list of very specific things about Mark Anthony. There we go, right there. It gives you specific page numbers wherever it is talking about Mark Anthony's personality, Cleopatra, mistakes, his strengths, his personality, his character. Um, same thing for, obviously, Octavian or Augustus. If you guys go to page 365, look at there. Octavian, uh, there's Augustus right there. And there's a lot, well, obviously, because he's the sort of primary subject, right? There's a lot on him. So... Allow that to help you find very specific examples to back up your larger points you're making as you're doing the paper. Remember, you guys need, above all, support your general statements with direct, specific piece of evidence. That means direct quotes and very specific analysis of that. And so you can take you right to those pages. Again, you, you guys haven't read the book or finishing up right now. Um, you have probably a general catalog in your mind of episodes and things. But again, unless your memory is better than mine, it may be better than mine. <laughs> but if it's not, if it's similar to mine, like I remember like reading that, but I don't remember exactly where that was. That's, you're, you're good. Go to the index, look up that specific episode, go to the alphabetical index. You'll find what you're looking for. Um, it can take you right to that page. That way, again, you're supporting your general point with very specific details above all supported by direct, specific, direct quotes. So let that, let that be helpful to you guys. And I think that's it. I just, for all the paper, also for each one, by the way, one last thing here. For each of the questions, one, two, three, and four, or each of the prompts, as you said, they're not questions, they're prompts, well, prompt one, two, three, and four. Each of those, you should be using direct quotes. So, for example, when you're doing number two, talking about Socrates' defense, uh, you want to be very specific. Don't give me some general statement just from an introduction by the editors. In this case, editors being Andre and Overfield talking about Socrates' defense. That's not cutting it. Get into Socrates' direct defense as recorded by Plato. So, when you're quoting from him, I don't mind, I guess, if you have one quote from the editors on Dean Overfield, but I want to really hear is Socrates' own words. What does he say in self-defense? Not what the editors say. What does he say? So I always want to, you want to hear the straight from the horse's mouth, right? So when you're talking about, same thing if you're doing question number three, the James Baldwin quote, and you're quoting from two primary sources from the human record. Again, if you choose Confucius or Christianity or Islam, Euripides, Medea, whatever you guys choose as you're doing that, those two sources, make sure you guys, as you're doing that, quote directly from the primary source. Now, definitely use the editor's comments to help you frame your understanding. But when I want when you guys quote, I want to hear it from that source, not the editors. Show me you understand the primary source by digging directly into the primary source. 
right? It's almost like, and I'll wrap it up to this, but it's almost like you're in a restaurant. I don't want to just hear the restaurant review by some review critic. By the way, helpful. I want to sit down at the table and take a bite myself. <laughs> Give me the primary source. Quote directly from the primary source itself. Don't rely on your quotes on the editors. Quote from the piece itself. So, for example, if you're doing Christianity, the book of Matthew, don't quote from the editors talking about the book of Matthew, quote from the book of Matthew itself directly. Does that make sense? All right, I promise you short and sweet. So I'll stop right there. Good luck with your papers. Put in the good work. I look forward to reading them. But use those two tips. Make sure you guys use the index in Everett Sagasta. This would be a big help to you guys. And then make sure you guys, for all of these, make sure you're using direct quotes, specific direct analysis from the actual words that we're uh, focused on and studying and concentrating on. So with that, that's it. Take care, everybody.